Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lung Pamai and this is a quick follow-up on a date picker X. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, it's a free custom date picker this, uh, which is compatible with both 32 and 64-bit Excel. I developed this a while ago and it is available for download with project or source code. Um, so do check it out. I will leave a link in the video description. In our prior videos, I've demonstrated how to embed this date picker to your user form project. So uh, it shows up right next to the text box and uh, another version where we talked about how to use this in the worksheet itself as a pop-up calendar. In this short video, I'll be demonstrating how to add a pop-up calendar similar to the one in the worksheet so that you can include this in your user form project. Okay, instead of embedding it. If you haven't, uh, please do not forget to subscribe for latest updates and also do support my channel. Let me give a quick demonstration. This should not take time. Uh, so if you click on this button after you download and you click here, you'll be able to see a sample uh, of what code runs behind. As such, there is no change to the code. Uh, it's just how you're calling it. Okay, so if you click on this demo form and double click on this icon, uh, you'll land here. Now this is basically setting up a parameter and then uh, calling this uh, pop date picker x uh, this form dot show right. So essentially this, uh, for example, this is a combination of three lines as you can see, um, like this. Okay, uh, I've just added them in a single line using this semicolon, um, so that you know like uh, it keeps your project clean. Um, okay. Now, uh, you just need to have this line replicated uh, for other user forms. Here, we are setting that, okay, this will be the name of the control, and this is uh, the name of the form, and then this is to show up the user form, yeah? Okay, um, now, if I click here, it shows up the date, and then you select, and then comes here. Now, one small thing again, uh, you're already aware, uh, here is where you set up the date format. Uh, the rest of the things are same, um, there's no change if you want the UK or the US format, for example, then you set up the date format here. Um, yep, the rest are same. Yep, uh, all these colors and all you can set it up from here, the background color, the hover effect and all this can be updated from here. If you have not seen the prior videos to other two versions, uh, especially the first one, do check it out. If you want to incorporate in the other language, then this is where you will go. Um, for example, here, if you scroll down, this is where, you know, like, um, it's automatically setting the format for the month. So do check it out here. It should automatically pick up the, the language, okay? Um, and then, yeah, as far as, you know, like all these are static, so do uh, update it if needed. Okay, now let's say that you want to incorporate this in your project. I'll just demonstrate this by using yesterday's form for right-click menu. Uh, so here uh, we added the right-click and there's no date or anything here. So I'll quickly demonstrate. Let's say that you have to add a date picker here and here, okay? So... Uh, this demo is the one, this is the fresh project, and this is the one that you'll be downloading, okay? What you'll have to do is simply drag these objects, this, this, and this, okay? So let's do one by one. First, the class, yeah, this will take care of the hover effect and the click events and everything for the date. And then this is the module where, you know, like, uh, we can pass the public variables, uh, the methods, and all this. Oh, I think I double this. this. Let me remove one of them. Okay, so you drag this into your project, this as well, and then this, this is the date. Uh, this is the calendar, basically, yeah? Okay, now, <coughs> excuse me. Let me just take the syntax from here. Just copy this line, and I'll just leave it here like this for now. And coming back to our project here, let's say I want to add a date picker, uh, you know, like a pop-up to this one, you can either do on enter, you know, like you can use uh, the event enter, so it automatically fires whenever you click on it, or you can simply uh, copy this, you know, like icon, this icon, 
and put it here into your project like this okay Now let's get the name of this control, F4 to bring out the properties window and get this name of this control, okay? Now I'm going to put this here, I'm going to copy this line. Uh, the name of the form does not change, so you don't have to change that, and this will pick up the name of the, um, the form itself, okay? So this also does not change. Now double click on this, and then use the mouse down, okay? And then paste it there. Let's remove this. Um, oops. Okay, so going in back there, yeah, this is what we have said. And for the second F4 again, after clicking on it, this is the name of the control where we want to bring the date. And I'll copy this line, F7, or double click, and then it'll lead you down here. Select the mouse down even and paste the line here okay compile it and now i think we should be good start so now the date pick picker comes up okay so it's simple as that um again you just need to simply drag these objects and then if you want to you know like update the code feel free to do that and um, if you have any questions uh please do let me know Okay, so that will be uh, all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.